Hey, hey, YouTube, Rich McCall, Rich McCall Serpents. Well, I'm not talking about serpents, I'm talking about a cruise ship, the Celebrity Flora. So I wanted to come down to Galapagos. Huge bucket list for me, giant bucket list. I wanted to come here since I was five years old and saw giant tortoises in the National Geographic in the library. There's a couple ways you can do a trip to the Galapagos. You can come and stay in like Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz, Galapagos, that is, not Santa Cruz, California. And you can do day trips to a bunch of places, or you can go on a cruise ship. My wife, she wanted to go on a cruise ship. So, she booked us a spot on a celebrity cruise ship called the Flora. And I'm not really a uh, cruise kind of guy, but it was nice. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And uh, so let me show you around my room. This is the unboxing of room 624 on the Flora. The celebrity Flora. Big old bed, little couch, some cool sitting chairs, and then the already open window. The view of the island right out the window. No sense of motion whatsoever. Of course, it's not really, there's no swells out there, but no sense of motion. These little waves. All right, so let's look at the bathroom. There we go, I got a commode. Fancy sink that two of you can wash your hands at the same time in. And then, most importantly, we've got a jacuzzi. And when I figure out how the window goes up, I'll put the window up for you. We can look out the jacuzzi then. So your little bathtub has a big window right there. And with the push of a button, you can get the curtain to go up, or of course down, so that you can take a bath with a view. Look at that. It's gorgeous, huh? Yeah. Television screen. And a little desk area. And my wife just said, most closet space we've ever seen on a cruise ship. I believe there's a safe inside this one. Yep, there's a safe. Binoculars, excursion towels, and a, excuse the drink, but there's a filtered water bottle filler so you can reuse everything. Pretty awesome, huh? Alright. Oh, and look, what's this? A little fun cruise bag thing. There's the complimentary champagne. And one thing about the boat is it's got new boat smell. New car smell. The entire boat as we walked up to our room has that smell. Brand spanking new. I believe they said this is the third cruise that the boat has been on. Maybe the fourth cruise. Life jackets, which are right under the bed. A little sign next to it. We thought that meant they were in the drawer, but it's actually under the bed. There you go. So, Celebrity gave us a little mesh bag with what turned out to have chapstick. And a one-size-fits-all plastic raincoat. Eyes on. All right, and the boat provided us with uh, snorkeling gear. And it appears to be a brand new three millimeter Henderson wetsuit. And they had sizes for everybody. Um, we were actually in uh, the fifth group, the last group to get, and we thought we were gonna have no choice in what we got. But they had brand new equipment uh, that they actually pulled out of its wrapper for people when they had run out. So anyways, you got yourself a uh, three millimeter shorty, uh, which may be too cold for these waters. 
No, they didn't give us a GoPro. That's my GoPro. And then they gave us a uh, Scuba Pro basic mask, Scuba Pro basic snorkel. Um, and they had, again, they had a ton of these and some different sizes. And then a basic pair of Scuba Pro fins. And I have a size 14 foot, and they were able to provide me with a uh, 13 to 15, 46 to 48 pair of uh, basic swim fins. And as a person with size 14 feet, that's a. I've lived with that my whole life, not able to find anything I needed. But there you go. And also a great big Scuba Pro dive bag for it to go into. And uh, it's in our room today. The first night you keep it with you, after that they keep it for you and clean it and stuff. Or at least they hopefully clean it and stuff. Hi. Right. Come on the hallway. All the way down there. There's a little door right here. I'm gonna shoot down and get myself a cup of coffee. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm making a video for my mama so she can see your boat. <laughs> Five. Looks like spawn fitness room. Spawn fitness room are nice for the size of the boat. Boat. There's one of the tenders. This is the back end where we get on and off the boat. You're not supposed to go down there unless you are getting on a boat, so I'm not going to go down there at the moment. The uh, whole thing where the X is there will fold up uh, when they're in motion. Hot tub over here. Okay, my mama wanted to know what the boat looked like, so there you go. There's the little pool. The lounge area is where they do their discussions about trips. Air conditioning, it feels nice at the moment. A little bar. I'm gonna get myself an Americano in a moment. Hats, I'm not sure what the hats is for, but hey, there's hats. So. There's that boat that was out my window. Here's the seaside restaurant. This is the lower restaurant. And just as a, this is tonight's menu, so you get an idea. On the left side, they have this every day. The fish changes. And the right side is what changes for today. And that's been different every single day. Food's been excellent, fantastic food. Breakfast and lunch are pretty much all you can eat. And this is all you can eat as well. You just have to order multiple uh, entrees if you want more than what's there. But you will be full on this cruise, guarantee it. The sinks, they're big on washing their hands. You got the sculpture here. You can be the judge of that sculpture. And so it's empty right now it's between lunch and dinner so lots of window seats there's the buffet over there service from the and lunch and stuff can be a little slow sometimes so there's buffet you usually have a ton of food. You will not starve, like I said. So again, there you go. That's the seaside. There's your elevator on deck four. Three. Deck three. 
going up. And we'll go up. Take three, there's no windows, that's okay. We'll make up for it in a moment. Deck seven. Deck seven. Going down. So deck seven. Bathrooms. Hand washing. We're huge in the hand washing. So, oops. Apparently, I have to use this door. So here's deck seven in the back. Nice area to lounge. You got a hot tub there. They offer this glamping where you can spend the night out here. We'll look at that again in a second. So lots of lounge chairs. Life, lifeboat there. Walk over here to the corner. Again, this is Santa Cruz Island. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, you won't be not be disappointed coming out here. There's the highlands of the island. There's that harbor again. So here we are looking at the back. This is the vista. Hot tub, shower over there. Got these lounge chairs. Chase lounge. Sitting there in the shade over there. There's a water fountain over there. So cool thing, check out the stacks. So this boat is a diesel, not bunker oil, it's a diesel. And they have uh, modern uh, exhaust on this and there's no smell and there is no smoke. It's, it's awesome. You don't smell diesel, you don't see diesel smoke. And like I said, it's not a bunker oil in the first place, but on other ships, you get that, just that reek of bunker oil smell, and uh, you will not get that in this ship. It's actually kind of cool. It looks sort of like an organ to me. All right, so let's go look at the glamping stuff. Here's your hot tub and showers. You walk over to a glamper. So you can make reservations, and you get this little sitting area right here. And you can have drinks, and apparently the captain will come and uh, say goodnight to you and tuck you in. Um, there's some of the tenders down there. That's the boats we use to get to shore. Um, all right. And then here's the bed part of it. So let's get over here. And there's two, two individual mattresses which I'm sure they put sheets on. There's no sheets on it right now because no one apparently is going to be here at the moment. Got some end tables and boom, ocean right there. So that's their glamping. There's an extra fee for that, which was 300 bucks on this cruise. I don't know if that will change or not, but there you go. There's your lifeboat. All right, so this is the other eating area and they've done a couple of buffets up here. Uh, eat under the stars at night kind of thing. It's been very nice. Again, all you can eat, lots of food. Uh, there's the Ocean Grill, which is closed at the moment, but like at lunch you can get hamburgers and, and hot dogs and you know food like that, uh, french fries, if you don't want to have any of the food downstairs. Um, you know, Cokes and sodas and beers, etc., etc. sitting area you notice there's no one here at the moment first there's only a hundred people on the ship we just had a really long day where we were all up in the uh, highlands of Santa Cruz looking at giant tortoises and I think everybody's probably getting showered and so on after that trip and we'll come up here real fast so this is the observatory which is weatherproof if you wanted to sit in the front of the ship. And I 
hang out. There's games. We got a TV. There's our position right now. We got some books if you want the books. Some more games. So you can sit right here and stare out the front window and not be buffeted by wind or get rained on or whatnot. If that was the case. There you go. Some more games. All right. All right, we're gonna walk up to deck eight. It's the highest deck on the boat. Very front of the ship. And you definitely have wind up here. But you can sit stare out the front. We're not moving right now, of course, so we're not about to run into that ship coming by. Take a look back along everything. Again, there's some more stacks up there. And again, like I said, no diesel smoke, no diesel stink. I personally appreciate hardcore. I believe people have come up here to watch the stars at night. I personally have not done that yet. All right, we're going back down. This is the main stairs down from Deck seven to deck six. Twenty-five is the penthouse. Celebrity got the uh, key locks, and we're back where we started. Back in the room on six twenty-four on the flora. Last cool shot of the harbor for you.
That's the cocoa.